Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunker from the Papadum Geek and MMGN.com, and today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can get Cube World working on your Mac. Yes, that's right, on your Mac. Now, for some of you guys out there who've been searching through hundreds and hundreds of videos, you would know that those videos are all false just because they've been asking you to fill in those stupid surveys. So just so someone can make a quick buck and you're basically going around in circles because you don't end up downloading the software or you download a virus. So let me tell you, those videos are fake, don't believe, those brew crap videos, there's so many videos out there, you search keyboard and all you get is basically those videos of how to get it for free, you know, air quotation marks, free, but really it isn't. Support the developer, go on the Picorama website, follow the guy on Twitter because as you will know, the service or the server is down, you know, nearly like you know 20 hours a day and it just goes up and follow him on Twitter because he does tell when it actually goes up it costs 15 euros 20 dollars US 22 dollars Australian I believe I paid I was lucky enough to get through and buy the game now support the developer uh, and that way the game will come out faster now as you know Cube World is still in alpha which means it's still in development not even beta it's still in development and it's not available on the Mac uh, that's the truth, it's not available in the Mac and I don't think it'll be available for quite a while just because, you know, it's still in development. Now, probably we might see a build, you know, during the beta stages or even the full game we might even see a build and I think the main criteria for this guy and, you know, you know his wife, I believe, is to get the game working and finished. Now, it does cost a lot of money but think of it, you're, you know, giving your money to a potentially a really great game once it's finished. Anyways, let's jump into the tutorial and show you how you can get this game working. Now, what you want to do is go to this link right here. I'll put it down below. It's basically the demo to Cube World. Again, don't be fooled with the other demos floating around the internet because the demo is just a screen rotating of the landscape just to make sure the game actually works on your Mac. Now, he put out this demo just because there are some pieces out there which actually don't run Cube World. And this being the same probably for some Macs. So we're going to install the demo first. If it works, that's a really good thumbs up. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry because obviously it's not available. And hopefully in the next build, it might be available. And then you can go through these steps again. So once you've downloaded the demo, what you want to do is go over to Crossover. Again, links in the description. Now, Crossover is basically a software for people who don't know, installs Windows applications on your Mac. Now, Crossover is a paid software. You can download the 15-day trial, which I recommend. And also, it works off WineBotler. Now, WineBotler is also a program from Crossover, uh, which is actually free, but I find Crossover works slightly a bit better. So we're gonna be using Crossover, and what you wanna do is download that. Now, once you've downloaded that, we're gonna actually start the software. Now, once you've gotten the software, obviously, try now. And it should boot up. Now, you wanna click on Install Windows Software. So that's what we're installing. Now once it's booted up, what you want to do is go to this link right here to download DirectX. Now this is a DirectX 4 crossover, so what you want to do is click on this and it should automatically link up to crossover and you know install that. Now once that's doing that, it's going to actually go through all these things. Once it's done that, I'll just show you step by step. So we want to go back, so obviously there it is right there. And you just want to make sure it's clicked just in case because sometimes it, it doesn't. And then click on new WinXP bottle. Now, obviously as you can see here, I've tried many, many times to get keyboard working and in the end I did. Um, it was a workaround, but let's just get this demo working. Now, what you want to call yours is Cubeworld. I mean, you can call it really whatever you want. Um, but obviously I've already have Cubeworld. And once you've done this, what you want to do is go proceed or install. Now. When you do this, because I've obviously installed this, so I'm not going to go further, but it does take quite a while. It does take about 10, 15 minutes, depending on your um, processor speeds. Um, just, it's a, basically a simple wizard. Just go through, click accept, next, accept, next. That's all you have to do. Now, once you've finished that, you should be brought back to the main welcome page of Crossover. Now, if you did successfully install DirectX, you shouldn't have had any problems, just, you know, brought back to this welcome page, and then click Install Windows Software. Now, once you're back here, what you want to do is go to Install Other Applications, because that's what we're doing, we're installing an other application, and go Choose Install. Now, you want to go to your folder, which is called Cube World Demo, it should be in your Downloads file, but I've obviously put it on my desktop, and click on Cube EXE File, and install that, and then we'll go Next. 
and then we want to click our bottler. Now my, my bottler I call it Cuboard 5.0 because that's the one which I got working. Your one might be called Cuboard. So make sure you click on the correct bottler. And then click install. And here we go. This is the Cuboard demo. A blue screen. No. Um, it does take a while. Depending on your computer. And mine's a 2010 iMac. I mean it should technically work perfectly fine. But I'm not too sure why. But as you can see, it does take a bit a bit of time to load. But, I mean, this is it. Don't, again, don't be fooled with those demos out there if they ask you to fill in surveys and play the demo. Because all the demo is, is this. You know, just keyboard in its glory, just looking around. So if this is working for you, that's great. We can move on to the next step. Unfortunately, if you didn't get keyboard working, maybe try the steps again. If not, it may not be compatible with your Mac or whatever you're using. So we're gonna close this, cancel, yes, done. And now we're gonna be installing the Cuboard software. Now, if you did actually manage to get a program, um, you know, we can download it. So we wanna go through the same steps, just install Windows software and go to other applications, because again, this is what we're doing, and go choose install software. Now, you should have gotten a, you know, a folder or file called Cube Setup. 3 EXE, I mean that's what I got at least. And then go use this installer. Again, we want to use the same bottler, so Cuboard 5.0. Again, your one might be called Cuboard or whatever. And then go install. Now it's a simple step up. Step up? It's a simple steps after this. Just go next, accept, next, 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 next. Yes, finish. And there we go, this is Cuboard. But this is where it gets a bit tricky because obviously I, I, my one's up to date and everything and I'm not too sure if it's crossover or the Mac or I don't know what's wrong with it. So we're going to click play and nothing happens. I mean it, it goes eventually to some error page. There we go. Um, and I don't know why. It might be because of the build. It might be crossover. But as I said before, we just have to try with new builds coming out and we just have to assume that it's because of the Mac. Now don't get me wrong, I am going to show you how to actually get Cuboard on your Mac, but unfortunately for myself, it didn't, I didn't actually get it working through Crossover, but it would be ideal to get it working through Crossover, because that means we don't have to actually use this other software, which is called uh, VMware Fusion. Now for the people out there who don't know, is VMware Fusion is basically uh, a software or application which imitates virtual uh, you know, programs like Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, whatever you want, Linux. It just installs operating systems. So as you can see here, I have most of the stuff already here. What you want to do is, you know, drag in that exe file of Cuboid and install this DirectX file. This is a different DirectX file that we downloaded initially for Crossover. I'll put a link down below to it. It's DirectX 9.0. Uh, you just have to download that, install that. I'm not going to go through the steps of that because it is quite simple. It's just a wizard again. Just go next, next, accept, basically. Now, once you do that, you should come up to the keyboard setup, which you can go through um, easily. Exactly the same, um, you know, same procedures that we went before on the Mac side of it. You go next, install, and finish. Now, you should put in all your details. And remember to do this once you actually install DirectX because if you didn't, then it won't work. Now, if you do have a boot camp installed, uh, it should work a lot better just because you're running it through an actual boot camp where here we're actually virtually imitating um, you know, the software. Now play. And there we go. Keyboard. Start game. We'll just go. Yes, I know it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, this is a workaround. Uh, we did get it working on the Mac itself and, you know, I'm not having to actually boot up into Bootcamp. And for some guys out there who don't know, Bootcamp is, you know, like I said before, is a way that you can actually install or basically you turn your Mac into a PC if, um, if that's easier um, to, to say, you know, it just turns your Mac into a PC. And, but the thing is, I don't want to be doing I don't want to be dual booting. If you do have a, um, like a SSD in your iMac or in your, you know, whatever you're using, it might run a lot better. 
uh, whereas I'm you know running an old 2010 iMac so hence why a lot of things are a bit you know glitchy and stuff but it works fine as you can see um, we can let things load maybe that might be good so anyway guys this is the only way to get Cuba working on the Mac currently I don't know any other ways I haven't seen anything if you do know anything else leave your comments down below on what we can do to actually get this working because as I said before I don't think we'll be able to see a cube world build for the Mac for a very long time at least now as I said VMware Fusion or Parallels is some virtual uh, softwares that you can use for the Mac it isn't free you can source it somewhere it does cost about hundred dollars I think for the software itself if you do want to pay for it now this is the only way how to get it smoothly besides running it through boot camp hopefully with other builds coming out we might be able to get it you know working through crossover but we're not too sure when anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helped you what the fuck are those things doing in the background and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya yeah! eat my pixels you wombat scum what the hell are these things anyway?